In this video, I will show you how to solve the square one. I will be using the guide from my website. The link is in the description. The square one puzzle is unique in that the top, middle and bottom layers are all sliced diagonally. The middle layer is very simple. It only has two parts. Most of the solving process focuses on the top and the bottom layers. Hold your square one with the middle layer that has two parts facing you and the small square on the left. For step one, we will turn the puzzle into a cube shape. This is an intuitive process. I will explain the concept. There are two parts. The first part is to get all your edges together in the top layer. So hold your puzzle with the small square on the left here. This is your slice move. The concept is to put the edges that you want to preserve on the left hand side in the top layer and the edges that you want to move to the top, put them in the right hand side of your bottom layer. So these two edges, when I turn the slice, they will come up to the top. I'll keep this edge here. So these two edges will move next to the edge turn my top layer so that I preserve the three edges I've put together um, and then slice up again to put another edge there. Turn this top layer. We'll move these two edges to the bottom layer but we'll keep the four edges together. So these two edges will come up to the top next to these. Now we have two edges left, so we'll turn them here, preserve the top edges. Uh, so the slice move will put all the edges together. If you find yourself in a situation where you have five edges together and a lonely edge here and two edges together in the bottom, then you will need to turn your slice to break two edges off because you can't slice this way. I recommend that you turn your top so that you break off two edges opposite each other like this. It's just easier to put them in at the end. So turn these two edges, they will come up to the top here and those two edges will be broken off. Then turn your edges to the left and then these two edges will come up either side. If you're in a situation where all your edges are together and one lonely edge here between two corners, then you can do this. So turn your slice so it is here. Slice. Turn your top layer so you're going to break these edges off and turn this up. Then turn this so you're going to break these two edges opposite each other. Uh, turn this to the back so that it's going to come up here and then turn your top layer so this is your slice and then you'll get all your edges together next to each other so once we've performed this setup move then turn this top layer so that your slice is in between these two corners for your bottom layer, the slice has three corners on the left and on the right. Perform these steps to turn your puzzle into a cube shape. To fix this middle layer, perform these steps. For step two, we'll orientate all the corners. So find a white corner in your top layer and turn this top layer so that the white corner is in the front right hand side and find a yellow corner in your bottom layer and put it in the front right. Perform these steps to swap the top and the bottom corners. Repeat the process. Put a white corner in the top right hand side and a yellow corner in the bottom front right hand side.
there's one yellow corner left. Turn this bottom layer so it's in the front right side and turn the top layer so that the white corner is in the front right side. Perform these steps to swap the two corners. For step three, we will orientate all the edge pieces. So find a yellow piece in the bottom layer and put it in the back position here. Find a white edge in the top layer and put it in the right position here. Ours is already here. These steps will swap the top white edge with the back yellow edge. Turn your top layer so that this white edge is in the right front and the bottom layer so that the yellow edge is in the back. Perform these steps to swap the yellow and white edges. The next step will permute the corners. Have a look in this top layer for two corners that have the same color. For us, we have orange. Ignore this edge. Hold your puzzle with a small square here. Turn this top layer so that the matching corners is in the back. So if yours is somewhere else, just turn the top layer so that the two matching side colors are in the back. Perform this algorithm to swap the two front corners. If you have no matching corners, you'll need to do this step twice. After the first time, you will have one set of matching corners. Now we're going to do the same for the bottom layer, but we're actually going to swap the top and the bottom layers with this algorithm. Now the yellow layer is at the bottom. Have a look in this top white layer for matching side colors. We have blue, ignore the edge. Turn this layer so that your um, headlights are in the back. Perform these steps to swap the two corners. Now we're going to swap the white and yellow back again. For the last step, we're going to be swapping our edge pieces until they're all in the correct position. The algorithm we're using swaps these two and these two edge pieces. For our situation here, I'll swap these two edges um, so that we have two edges left adjacent to each other. And in the bottom la layer, I'll swap these two edges so that there's two edges adjacent to each other left. Follow these steps to swap the top right front and the bottom front and left edges. Again, the, turn this top layer so that the edges you want to swap are on the right front side and turn this bottom layer so that the edges are in the front and left sides. Follow these steps to swap these two and these two edges. If you're in a situation where you end up with only two edges you need to swap, 
then unfortunately you have parity. If the two unsolved edges are in the bottom layer, then you swap your top and bottom layers and perform the algorithm with the two edges on the top. So this is the top layer and the edges you want to swap is in the front and the right hand side. Perform these steps to swap only two edge pieces. To fix this middle layer, perform these steps. Congratulations, your square one is solved. <laughs>